Hi hey folks, Chris here from CC Detecting and Scrapping. Um, I got this Sony Trinitron the other day from a co-worker. Um, I had it in a video from a few days ago that I put up. It's the e-waste pickup. Uh, most TVs are pretty pretty common the way they're built. Uh, they all have the coil, uh, the ferrite core on top of the back of the tube, and the gauzing cable, stuff like that. So once you take apart one TV, you, you kind of have a pretty good idea how to take them all apart. So I just thought I'd take this one apart real quick for you and then uh, what I'll do in the next video is take apart a monitor and just show you the differences between um, what is on the TV side of things as well as a CRT monitor. So let me get some tools and flip this on its face and uh, we'll get going. Alright, so I got it laying down flat. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start removing all the screws. Uh, we got a bunch of screws in here. I also remove all these ones here that's holding in the... Uh, the video components in that, as well as take out all the ones down the side here. Now you can see in there. What I do with the with the ones that are holding the case on is I put them in a separate bucket because at the end I put the the outer shell back on and I can take the tube and the plastic to the recycle yard here in town that'll process it there. So, which is uh, pretty nice to have. That way I can just take out the insides that I need and uh, and then they can deal with the rest of it there. Alright, so we've got the outer shell off there, off the TV, now we can get into the inside part. Um, as you can see, this yoke is a little bit more higher end than some of the other TVs. It's got a, a, a double circuit board here, and then in here is where your copper and your ferrite are. It also has its own little degaussing cable around it, so that's kind of cool. Um, we got the big degaussing cable here, which wraps around the top and the bottom. Uh, it's fastened here, we'll just snip those out. As you can see, we've got a set of speakers down at the bottom. And then we've got another one over there. And then uh, there's your low-grade TV board. Um, I think all the boards here on, on this are all low-grade. But when we, when we pop it out, we'll uh, take a quick look. Uh, this one also has a bunch of little push buttons up here at the front. So we're going to take those off as well. So the first thing I do when I start taking these apart is I, I start unattaching any, any wire just to make sure that's not in the way when I'm taking things apart. Uh, this one here, there are videos online for how to de-staticize it, but uh, what I do is I, I don't even bother taking this part off because it's usually just a metal insert. Um, I know this TV hasn't been run for a while, so I just snip, the, snip this wire here and go, and then it's I just did that as part of the tube. So let me start taking some wires apart here and then we'll get to the next stage. So without too much work, we've already been able to pull out two uh, Two circuit boards here. They, uh, this one's right here. It just slid right out. This a uh, low grade board. They're both low grade boards. Um, this one here has got a couple of uh, IC chips and uh, capacitors. Uh, let me have some copper in it. We'll pop that off and take a look. And then uh, a little copper transformer there. Uh, this one's much the same thing. Some low grade resistors. A couple of IC chips. Things like that, nothing, nothing too exciting. The power cables already come off pretty easily. It just clipped right in and wasn't attached to anything. We've already started getting a pile of insulated cable. But uh, the thing I wanted to show you was this circuit board here. So down there, as you can see, the circuit board will not come out very easily because it's got this little locking pin right here. So before you pull that out. Or before you pull the circuit board out, you want to make sure that you pull that tab back. Or just snap it off like that. And then the circuit board just pops right out. There we go. And now we can get access to the rest of those wires to uh, unhook those. And then I'll get, I'll get right back to you here. Alright, so all the wires are unhooked now. That we can get unhooked here. We've got the degaussing cable connectors. They're all there. I've cut this uh, tie down which is used to hold the gauzing cable in. We'll take care of the yoke in a second. Um, I've also done the, the tie down on this side and now we're just going to finish freeing up the rest of the circuit board. So what I do is I just take the snips there and then we got a couple of wires here. All right, well that was the back of my hand but we got a couple of wires here and we just finish taking care of those. Nothing has to be fancy. And so now we have another low grade board. Now, for the yoke part, 
this first circuit board should just pop right off. There we go. So it's another low grade board. So we'll trim that up. This one here, as you can see, we got a connector right here. Now these bars, or uh, sorry, the bands here are usually stainless steel, whereas these are steel, but sometimes I've seen them where they're both stainless steel. So what I do for those is I just grab my drill, just take the drill, put it undo it real quick, and then that just slides right off. So and then we can take that band and all their other stuff off after. It's got a couple little uh, copper connectors there, uh, some heat sinks, a couple little copper bearing devices on there, like that one is one. But it really is just another low-grade board, so we'll just throw that in the bin and we'll get going. Uh, this part here, you can see we've got another another one here. So let me undo that, and then we'll take care of this rest of this yoke. All right, so we got we got that unfastened. I'll just throw that over there in the pile. Now these, they're usually not fastened on very well, just enough to hold them in place, and you should be able to. Give them a quick little push, and then they come right out. As you can see, it's a full copper yoke, so that's pretty cool. Now, a lot of people are saying that you gotta you gotta watch out for breaking these and that, and you do. However, the sound you hear is usually uh, air going into the tube. These are usually vacuum tubes, so it's usually air sucking in. I don't advise smashing these at all. Uh, you can you can strip down a TV pretty easily without uh, breaking the glass. There are phosphoruses and some other things in here. This glass is lead lead filled, I think it's called, or lead lead infused. However, they work the word that it's leaded glass. So you know it's not it's not healthy for you to, to be smashing. We should let a proper recycling center take care of it. So let me get the couple of these wires cleaned up here, and then we'll take the degaussing cable off and go from there. So these degaussing cables are actually held in with a kind of cool little device right here on the side. Just a plastic little insert. It had a, a wire going across the top here to uh, hold it in place. So as you can see we got another one right here. Wiggle it out. And then, there we go. We got one nice big chunk of degaussing cable now. And this one comes with two of them. On smaller TVs, you get one this size, so that's why I like these bigger TVs. You get two of them. They're pretty cool. They're easy to take apart. I showed that, how to do that easily in another video. And there you go. So the last thing we have left to do is we just need to take apart, put the screws in there, and take that off. Uh, the little uh, buttons from the top of the TV. And we're going to pop these speakers out as well. So let me get those done and I'll show you what we do next. Oh, sorry, and I just noticed we have the uh, this little tin wire here. So we're going to take that out as well. All right, so that's pretty, that's, TV's pretty much done, as much as I'm going to do it here. So what I'll do now is I'll put the outer shell back on, screw it down, and then throw it in the back of the truck with the other one I did a few days ago. And uh, then we'll, we'll go through this pile of stuff and I'll show you what I got out of it. All right, so before we go and weigh anything out, a small pile of plastic garbage. Um, I don't think I can recycle any of those here in town, so I'll just throw those in my bin. A um, little bit of tin. I throw, these speakers are small enough, I just throw them in the tin. There is a little bit of copper in there, but I don't know. It's, for the amount of uh, time you have to use, just get that tiny amount out. Just let someone else do it. Um, so there's that copper yoke with that tiny gauzing cable on it. Uh, we got two degaussing cables here. They feel pretty light though, so I think they might end up being aluminum. Still all right. We'll strip those out. A uh, small pile of insulated wire, and then a small pile of uh, low-grade board. Uh, these here though, um, these little buttons. If you have the time, you have a lot of them. They do have a little silver contact in them, so I, uh, I tend to throw all those in a bin when I process my circuit boards. But anyway. Uh, let me get all this stuff in the house cleaned up and uh, we'll see what they weigh in at. Alright, so just before I go through what was in that uh, Sony Trinitron TV, I just want to show you, here's a smaller TV that I have in my basement that I'm going to be taking apart today as well. So, you see it's got same things as uh, the bigger TV has, it's got the copper yoke, circuit board on top. This one has one solid circuit board which is in very well. 
couple speakers and a degaussing cable. Uh, really, that's all that's in a TV. They're pretty easy to take apart. Uh, when these cables are copper, they're they're pretty easy. They're pretty good pay as well. Um, I, I love taking apart TVs. I find them pretty simple and uh, and just bang for the buck. They're not too bad for me anyway. So I just want to show you guys that real quick. Let's uh, see what's inside that other one when you uh, weigh it out. All right. So I, I broke this one down pretty pretty small. Probably more. Probably broke it down more than is really needed, but. It's just the way I work. I, I don't know if it's OCD or what, but I, I break things down as much as possible. Um, that I find is beneficial for me. Some things I don't really worry about, but others, I for whatever reason, I tend to break down quite a bit. So for that TV, we had uh, 983 grams of tin or, or 2 pounds, 2.7 ounces. What that included was the speakers and um, some of the screws, things like that. We had... Uh, 17 grams or 0.6 of an ounce of stainless. Those were those brackets that I was showing you around the yoke and one of the screws ended up being stainless as well. The coated wire is, um, it's like a tin coated wire that goes around the, uh, around the tube part. I'm not exactly sure what it's for, but eh, nine grams of that or 0.3 of an ounce. It all adds up after a while, right? So the insulated wire, uh, I got 191 grams or 6.7 ounces. The aluminum wire, which uh, unfortunately the degaussing cable ended up being aluminum, but that's all right. They're pretty easy to rip apart as well. 489 grams or one pound, 1.2 ounces. The shielded wire, there's a little bit of shielded wire in there. It was eight grams or 0.3 of an ounce. Stripped wire, this was the mini degauss cable around the yoke, um, the, uh, the plug-in cord. Uh, a couple of the copper bearing components that uh, came apart pretty easily. I already took those apart. So we got 255 grams there, or 8.9 ounces. The copper yoke itself was uh, 10 pounds, 7 ounces, or 304 grams. Uh, the brass ends, like the plug ends or off the insulated wire, was 8 grams, or 0.3 of an ounce. Um, I also weighed out the, the plastic brass ends, like the little plastic connectors have the brass in them. I put those in a bin. I'm hoping the yard will take them. So we'll see what happens though. Uh, 3.2 grams or 1.1 ounces. And then low grade board. Um, 2,131 grams or 4 pounds, 11 ounces. Um, so what I want to mention about my low grade boards is I don't clean my low grade boards right off the bat when I'm taking things apart. I put them in a box and, and strip them down later. So like for this this main TV board, it's got a couple of pretty big chunks of aluminum in it. Uh, this is a copper bearing. Some switches here, another copper bearing there, uh, more aluminum, right? These, uh, like I said before, these little buttons have um, little silver uh, contacts in them, so we can take those off and put them in a bin for later. Here's some more copper bearing stuff. So it all adds up when you strip it down. I just don't do it right now. There's no place in my area that takes low grade boards that I found. They say I can throw it in with my shred and get uh, whatever my shred is at, which is your current white good price. I think it's just a penny a pound or something like that right now. That's where all my circuit boards would go. So, I, like I said, I throw them all in a box and I uh, take care of them that way. When I have a couple boxes full, I'll sit down and go through them all. Um, so, that's about it. Um, for this part of the video, I will take apart a monitor uh, when I got a, a little bit of free time and a little bit of room and uh, just show you the differences between what's basically in a, a standard CRT TV and what is in a basic standard CRT monitor. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this informative. Please like, comment, and subscribe.